Hi guys and welcome to Aquatic Star TV. For today we're going to put together a JBJ Antarctica chiller, which is supposed to be a really quiet chiller. Um, this particular model, uh, the minimum flow rate is, goes from 480 to the maximum of 2400. So what we chose to do is put a Supreme Aquamag 950, which is kind of a flow rate right in the middle there. First thing you want to do when you're setting up your chiller is just inspect the whole unit when it comes in, make sure there's no damage on it. Second step is taking off these caps. You take it, there's an in and an out. And so once you take this, this bib out, you're gonna see a washer in here. You need the washer to put back in there, but this bib is just to protect the unit in transit, so you can discard that. And do the same thing on the other side. Let's pull it out. Bid back in. And then you can connect all your hosing. And then you can connect the, the pump up and you're ready to go. We've decided to use the three quarter inch connectors um, and three quarter inch hosing to hook up everything with. So basically that's our next step to setting up everything. We're gonna run the lines and then show you what it looks like. All right, we're gonna connect the three quarter inch tubing um, to the system. So we have an in and then the out over here. So there goes the in and there goes the out. So you gotta be really careful where you put everything. All right, and then here is the connectors, which are half inch um, connectors. They basically go like this on top of the system. And then you put the washer in and then the nut on top of it and secure it down. You hand tighten it, you don't over tighten this because if you do, you're gonna have problems with the system leaking. And one of the secrets that I use for the tubing that I'm using here to be more pliable is I soak it in really, really hot water for about four to five minutes. And then basically it's really easy to work with and then it'll go right into the system. So now we've connected the half inch to the other side of the hose and what we're going to do is basically tighten it up just snugly don't over tighten this because you will you will break that and uh, you don't want to do that so we're going to um, tighten that snugly on the other side and then uh, we won't have any leaks everything will be good we just screw it onto here hand tightened onto the inside or the input okay now we're going to do the output and put it back into the sump in a different section where the return pump goes to put the water back into the aquarium. We have all the connections set up over here. So we have the input and the output going back to the tank to the return on the, on the sump. And now we are going to Velcro it to the scent, to the tank. And the next step is making sure that the pump is put in the sump properly and the return is put into the return part of the sump properly also. I've secured it with Velcro um, so the hose doesn't dislodge and have water all over the place. And the next thing that you wanna do is to run the pump for two minutes without putting the chiller on to make sure all your connections are nice and watertight and all the water is returning exactly where you want it to go. Okay, right now the pump is running. As you can see, there are no leaks. Everything's nice and tight. And everything is pumping exactly where it's supposed to be. There's the pump, which is a MAG 950, MD 950, which is plenty of horsepower for this particular chiller and I put the if you can notice I put the hose return underneath the water to make sure that there are no bubbles circulating back into the tank so the Antarctica JBJ chiller um, cupped factory set at 77 degrees we're gonna put it up to 78 degrees which is a safe zone and then we're gonna set the heater, which is a Phoenix heater in this aquarium, which is a 150 gallon reef tank, uh, to go from 76.5 to 77 degrees. 
So this way there's a safe zone between the heater and the chiller so they're not battling each other. And this way you have a nice safe aquarium winter and summer. The pump is now running and active. There are no leaks. The unit comes set for factory set for the unit comes factory set at 77 degrees. To change this, simply depress the up button for five seconds. You will then blink, then go down or up, and we set it for 78. It will blink again and set. It is displaying the current temperature at 77.1 degrees. So when the temperature rises to 78, the unit will automatically turn on and chill your water. So you will never have problems with overheating your reef system. This is a total setup for the JBJ Arctica chiller. Enjoy, and as always, thanks for watching Aquatic Start.